Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog series. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about international police checks, how to get them, what they are and the things that you'll need to consider. Okay, so as part of the visa process, uh, when you make your application for a tier two visa, you're gonna need to obtain police clearance certificates from every country that you've lived in for a year or more over the last 10 years. Uh, this applies to anyone that works in the healthcare sector and education sector that's entering the UK. So obviously it's the UK government's way of um, double checking that anyone coming into the UK doesn't have uh, an outstanding police uh, criminal history. Okay, so each uh, country has its own process for obtaining police clearance certificates. We'll post up a link which will tell you exactly what you need to do uh, for each country around the world. Um, it's usually the police or the, uh, the criminals uh, records authority within the country that issue it. Some will issue it via email electronically, some you'll need to attend in person. Uh, and others um, will only hold criminal record certificates for people who are nationals of that country and not people who have been visiting there or there for you know, a 12 month or two year period or whatever it might be. So each country varies considerably, but we'll post a link which should give you some insight as to how to get it from each country around the world. Okay, so some countries do make it a little bit difficult to obtain police clearance certificates. Uh, some just don't have a central bureau to hold that information and others are less willing to give it to people who don't currently reside in that country so it may make it difficult to attend uh, the, the police station in that country. Um, if you can't get it, don't worry too much. What you need to be able to do is evidence that you've taken all the steps necessary in order to get that police clearance uh, and assuming that everything looks legitimate then you shouldn't have any reason why you wouldn't be granted an exception to it um, but of course you're going to need to go above and beyond to demonstrate that you have tried everything possible in order to get that uh, clearance certificate in the first place. So hopefully that answers any questions you had about uh, police clearance certificates from around the world. If you do have any extra queries, please do send them across to us via social media channels or in an email. As always, we'll put the contact details up at the end of the video.